Goth Bulgarian. Ooh, okay. Very back. Yes. Alright. Let's do this. Goth versus Burgundians. What's my chest yellow? My highest was 1750 blitz, 1950 bullet on chess.com. That was a couple years ago when I was actually trying to learn how to play. Uh, nowadays I'm probably around 1400 in both, to be honest. Probably not more than that. Nice. You can beat me there? Let's cheat you a little, man. I mean, I'm only really good at Age of Empires, to be honest. I play a lot of other games at decent levels, but... Definitely none at top level. 2,000. Nice. Good stuff, bro. That's uh, very solid. <clears throat> Alright, so looks like we have Goths versus, Brigand uh, versus uh, Bulgarians here. That's actually quite a quite a hard matchup. Uh, their champions will be, or their tenant swordsman with extra armor will be a kind of a challenge to take out. If he goes for that, I most likely have to be on hand cannoneer. I, I'd imagine. Go ahead and bring in this first sheep. Not too bad. Gotta make that house. Go out a hunt. Goth hunt is fantastic. Look for the rest of my sheep. Awesome. I'm gonna go back and learn the rest of my deer as well. Goth hunt is great. Definitely want a lot of that. Go ahead and scout with my sheep as much as I can. Boom. Perfect. Looking great. Now we'll go ahead and bring in my sheep as well. <clears throat> Always gotta go onto berries. Make a mill. Sets you up nicely. And I'm not sure what I want to go for. I think I want to open Men at Arms though. I think that's going to be a pretty good approach. Uh, go ahead and pick up my second four. Yeah, Hunt Bonus is actually really huge for Goths. I, I agree with that. It made them quite a decent Civ. I don't hate getting Goths anymore. Like I actually feel like the Civ is pretty decent now. I don't think it's great or anything like that, but it's definitely pretty pretty decent. Last little deer, it's an ibex. <clears throat> Deers are very far on this new version of Marie, but yeah, but that's a good thing, uh, chat. I I think it's a great it's a good thing because. Um, if the deers are too close, then luring three every game is always worth it. Now, luring three is a bit of a risk, and that's how it should be. So I'm actually a big advocator in favor of the far deer change. I like that. House for a little bit. I need to do 21 pop. That was my bad, but it's all good. That was Goths. Get free loom. Alright, first step is getting more bills onto that wood. And we can go ahead and make a mining camp.
Hello, John. John, what's up? Yeah, I did start with the Huns, but I started with the Huns because everyone was playing Huns. Didn't really give it too much thought. But it was nice to play with a Civ that doesn't need houses because, yeah, I was able to focus on other parts of the game without getting housed every two seconds. Uh, I don't know if he's down here. No, he's not. He's up here. Okay, let's go back and check there then. Don't think he wants to fight that long term. Oh, he's making men arms. Interesting. Well, I don't know why it's late though. One minute arm at, with scout, so interesting. I think we can just go range behind us. But I'll see. I could also go stable. Yeah, I think I kind of prefer to go stable after this. Just get horse scholar. I don't know what this builds up to. I'm gonna try to hit that one. Uh, he's doing a good job blocking though. Oh, well, now I understand the, the minute arm. I get what it's meant for. Uh, I think it's fine. Like I'm not really losing much. Pick off berries, that's good. Oh, and we forced the tower, so we forced so much damage with just those little bit of men at arms. And I don't really need those guys on gold as well. Right, I'm planning to go scouts myself behind it. Oh, he's taking way too much damage here, guys. He's gonna try to trap me, but I think it's fine. He's idling his CC a lot as well. I mean, yeah, we, we did a ton of damage. I'm super happy with this. I also picked up horse color, so my economy is great. Next up, we need to afford a stable. Oh, she went on this side to build it. Oh, she actually deserves to die. That's crazy, man. Forcing two builds to idle. And he went back. Amazing. So this is great for me. I send this before as a scout, though, because I want to see what his follow-up is. He doesn't know my follow-up is stable yet. I'll kill that man arm and I'll just trade those guys off, keeping my scout alive for scouting information, of course. Which means that I no longer need my spear to go forward. Completely fine with that. I'm gonna finish off the berries, and after berries, I'll make a mine, uh, lumber camp there. I already have a good plan. That I can go up, no problem. Could make, could make a spear, one more spear. Because the pikeman is an option for me. The reason I didn't make a, a range follow up is that I don't, I don't actually like playing range units with goths. I think it's su super counterintuitive to what you want to do. You want to play big infantry eventually, so you'd rather set up a lot of like food. And cavalry is just much more suited for that. 
She lives. Nope, Kappa. <laughs> I thought I'd save her there. So for that reason, I like to play a little bit of cavalry and then play towards infantry as well. My favorite campaign of this game. I had the most memories with the last mission of William Wallace and the first mission of Montezuma. Those are the ones I played the most and have the most memories with. For me, campaigns are more or less nostalgic. But I do think they're great. Like I think the campaigns in this game are fantastic. Forging is good because it, it works for cavalry and for infantry. So here, as you can see, I'm doing one stable with just putting a little bit of pressure. That feels dying? No. He has two spears, so I shouldn't be able to kill anything here. Maybe when the third scout comes, I can try to make a big play. That's probably not. Got husbandry, and I also want pikemen. I think he's walling up, so... My main unit here is Pikeman, if you think about it. But man, what's up? Thanks for the Prime stuff. Also, Atomic, thanks for giving us up to Duke Canada. Appreciate it, bro. He's now up to the next stage. Bad. See what he's going to go for here. This guy's got enough damage, I feel. What if I try setting up a longsword push? He's not exactly, like, untouchable. I, why am I respecting him so much, you know what I mean? We can definitely set up a Cassidy's longsword push. He's, he's wide open. He has a small layer of palisade and some buildings. That's nothing. We can break through much more than that. So definitely going to start launching up a push. I have pikemen set up so I don't die to cavalry. I'm picking up relics, which is kind of cool. It's guaranteed relic there. I get five subs. Two subs, actually. I'm not that confident. I'll fight that, whatever. 
And here, we'll try to help him, I guess. Okay, I have to give two subs, I guess. No, there should be a relic here. Right here. Come on. Might have to give the subs. After all, damn it. Go, Panker. Yeah, Panker's cool. Oh! I told you there's a relic there in the last tile. I freaking told you there's a relic there. Pikeman with him though. Tree Ash with the two gift subs. Oh, he got it to the chat after all. Man of the people. I don't want to show him the long swords exactly. This guy's rather hidden. He doesn't have that many upgrades. Let's go forward, Siege. Crepos is a little awkward. Doubt Krabos? I don't think he gets that up. Oh, he's getting this one up. Expect the god spam. The rams got buffed, by the way. The new battering ram here. The monks uh, getting a little frisky there. Is that, if that's his Imperial DC, he loses, by the way. I don't know if that was or not, but... Either way, it's looking hella rough right now.
Rams are now feeling much faster. I, I love this change. Amazing change from the Ram. Big shout out to the devs. We don't give them enough credit, guys. Easy to point out the flaws, but let's point out the successes. Look at this. Rams are now a lot more viable, and I feel the buff. Small buff went a long way. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, what is going on here? Wanna see the speed of a fully occupied drill round? <laughs> Probably hella fast, bro. But the thing is, it's, they didn't buff Sea Drum, so. Should be about what we're used to, I think. Let's go up. I don't lose the game. <laughs> Probably just not uh, worth fighting too much more here. Oh my. I don't have a market by the way. That was pretty good macro for me without a, without a market. Get a quick wall of the market there. It's kind of cute. Oh, I mean, I know what you want to do, but don't think that's just gonna be allowed. We even have the relics, so late game is impossible for him to win. And you know, I did a good thing here, guys. <clears throat> One of the best things I did, I've done this game. I've secured the relics behind all this aggression. So I have four relics. Even if I stall out the game and I can't finish it off. I still definitely win late game with the four relics. So that was uh, a really good move for me. Uh, now we're going to continue adding in barracks. I'm getting bot canero just for my castles, of course. Go ahead and look for that last relic. It does seem like he's going to try raiding again. What we can do is actually buy a castle in our base so that he actually cannot raid. And I'm just waiting to upgrade my military here. And I'm also waiting to get the extra 10 pop in. Good enough. I'll take two conversions. Take two for sure. Ooh, the random two comics here. Making that work. So we get that. We get perfusion as fast as possible. We get this, and we get conscription. So oh, we're gonna have some sick, sick champions. And I also prevented him from getting to two-handed swordsman as well, which is a very good, uh, good thing for me as well. So yeah, a lot of things went right for me this game, to say the least. Now right, let's go. Get a run where there's no crap post, I believe. Oh, they're all weak. I'll go ram. Get a mix of halbs and champs. That should do it. That should be solid. Let's go hit this crepus at the back, maybe. Send some champions here to raid.
mix of halves, champs, and ramps should do the trick pretty well here. His score is quite low here. It's not looking good for him. Well, he got it up. And he just called. Ooh, pretty fun game there with the Goths. That long shot rush was, uh, yeah, uh, a bit unexpected from him, I I'd imagine. And it it did the it did the trick, guys. I was able to kind of burst open his uh, his base, force up all kinds of defensive crepos. Those you know he wanted them in the middle of the map probably. Only one or two at home, forced a lot of them there. Went no huskrolls. I don't know. I just went for uh, for champions because it was decent against the Conix, good at breaking buildings. Huskrolls could have worked. Truthfully, at this point, anything could have worked. Oh, did I forget the wood upgrade? My bad. My bad. I was able to make do without it at least. That last relic, I know, it was in there.